this is a great wall and that it had to be built by a great people. Both the American public and the Chinese public had been ill-served by the stories we've told ourselves about each other. This rapturous enchantment, followed by a kind of complete loss of expectation and crashing loss of hope. America's going to save us. Oh, America failed us. The Chinese market is going to save the U.S. economy. Oh my God, the Chinese market is worthless. China's stock market is now the worst performing market in the world. U.S. China is something that I've lived. I mean, I went to China when I was 21 in 1980, the second group of American students going to China to study. And I was a correspondent there uh, in the 1980s. I was expelled from China when I was with the AP. And then I went back to the Washington Post. And so that kind of passion started me. And what kept me going in the book was the stories. In 1783, the Americans put together money to send a ship with a huge load of ginseng. That first ship made a profit about 30%, a couple million dollars in, in today's money. And that was enough to get a lot of other people very interested. The Americans scanned the globe looking for products to sell to the Chinese. First there was ginseng, but opium was just so lucrative that they began to run opium too. That said, American missionaries were against it. James Duke, who was one of the great American tobacco growers, bumped into a map of China. The story goes, he said, that's where I want to sell tobacco. Basically offering tobacco as an alternative. The Chinese first came to the United States in 1848, pretty much right after gold was discovered in Sutter's Mill in California. And the Chinese soon became the largest foreign-born population in the West Coast. California and a variety of the other states passed a raft of these incredibly racist legislation, basically designed to stop the Chinese from staying in America. And it was the first time that the United States, which is a nation based on immigration, has ever taken a step to block a certain person because of the color of his skin or because of his race. Again, back to this idea of these patterns we've had of, of rapturous enchantment, hey, we're going to do everything for you, followed by deep disenchantment when you don't actually get what you thought you were going to get. In trying to write this book, I wanted to rewrite the story a bit of us and them. We can build the bridge between us and build a new world. And probably of the two countries around the world, it's the most important relationship. Getting it right is vital. But to know where we're going, we've got to understand where we both came from. <laughs>